up guys, Caleb here, back with another video today. Talking about how recording labels sometimes ruin their artists. But before I do that, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this kind of stuff that I do. Uh, I do this several times a week. I try to at least college students, so it's kind of harder even now. So let's get into it. So first off, I haven't actually haven't did like a video video in a minute. Uh, the last video I, video I did was like the Trevor Sky Playboy album review. Uh, I was gonna do another Travis Scott video, but I feel like it was just gonna be a rehash of something I already did. But anyways, guys, you already know how recorded labels are. They do what they want to do. They won't let you release your own music whenever you want to. Uh, like this has been happening a lot recently. I've noticed it a lot, lot more frequently. Like Cardi B, um, her album would be out by now if, if it wasn't for her record label. Little Uzi Vert, his album would come out way sooner if his record label wasn't in on. He's even stated that he misses his old days of SoundCloud where he would just release his music whenever he wanted to. Now he has to wait for the record label. Also, I believe that Travis Scott's Astro World probably would have been out earlier than it did. Like, honestly, it would have came out in September at the same time as an album normally do. And then he would have probably dropped Jack X Contra like the same time in December. So that would be equal, it would equal it out if it was just him that like released the album. But honestly, I think they're doing a little bit more with that. But I feel like that's part of the reason why it's not out yet. But usually what record labels do is they want to get the hottest thing out. And they don't want you to compete with other albums or artists at the time when their stuff comes out. So I, I can see how why they do that stuff. But like, it just kind of ruins it for, for, um, for the artists, I feel like. Now, somebody like 21 Savage, he said this uh, on, on an interview on Complex. Everyday struggle, you guys need to watch that show. Joe Budden's not on it anymore, but you still can watch it. Um, anyway, he says that like he can drop an album whenever he wants. He doesn't drop singles, so he can drop an album whenever he wants. So the studio backs him, his studio or his label backs him. So need to have more labels like that. That's pretty cool. I honestly feel like you're limiting your artists when you do that kind of stuff. Um, I feel like I actually like having several albums at once because I have to pick what music I have to listen to and then like I have a good a new playlist I can add to my playlist already I mean and I have a new playlist too so I honestly like when there's multiple albums out at once I don't mind it too much just wait if it's after week after week then that's the problem but anyway um, I don't mind it I, don't, I think it's you just steal it from the fans at that point if you make them wait and you don't believe in your artists if you're gonna make us wait that long honestly but uh, that's all I have to say for now, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Please leave a like, and I'll see you guys later.